kind of obviously good for the boys to bounce back and get a win tonight. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, last week against Richmond was a disappointing result, so we're really happy to get back out there and get on the winners list. Seemed like a bit of a nervous start for both teams, but for his set, they settled early. How important was that? Yeah, definitely. Um, it, was, it was a little bit scrappy the whole night, but the way that um, we certainly got on top of the scoreboard in the first quarter and the second quarter, we made it a focus, especially last week after the first quarter where we had four tackles for the quarter. I think we had about 10 or 13 or something. So we really ramped that up and it all flows from the forward pressure. So the way that we were able to do that, um, it all flowed from there. So we're really happy with that. But at that halftime lead, must have been expecting the Saints to fight back. Yeah, for sure. We knew that... Um, Everything was going pretty well and it was positive, but we knew that Ross settled us and he said, boys, they're going to come out pretty hard, and they did. Um, and they were coming pretty close. I think it was at one stage probably 14 points or something like that. Um, but the way that we were able to respond, I think you're always going to be challenged by teams because the AFL competition is so fierce and tight. Um, so the way that we responded and fought back from that, it was really pleasing to finish off the game um, like that. It was, it was really good. So it was basically three really strong quarters for free. What was the difference between those quarters and the third one? Yeah, the third one, um, we didn't have as many kicks. I think we, we didn't spread the ball as, as much as what we wanted to. So that sort of links into your defence as well. If you're turning it over, you're not spreading the ball, then your defence is out of, out of line as well. So I think they were able to enter a few more times into the forward 50, obviously capitalising their opportunities as well. So um, they were able to do that. But yeah, as I said, the way that we responded in the fourth quarter and um, come with the win is really pleasing. Bit of a last minute change with Ryan Nyhouse coming in for Stephen Hill. How is he today? Yeah, really good. Nice. He's, um, he's been working really hard at Peel and we know that he's going to come in and perform that role really, really well. So he locked down um, on his opponents tonight and did a really good job. So um, he should be proud of himself. And unfortunately, yeah, Stephen was out. But I think all the backs worked really well. Lukey Ryan with his roll off and Jalen coming back in, it was really pleasing. How about you? 35 touches. Good to get that much of the footy? Yeah, for sure. It's always nice to get the footy. But um, definitely been focusing on beating my opponent and just becoming a better defensive player. And then everything else will just fly on from that. So... Um, if I'm able to do that and keep Ross and Mick Pryor and the coaches happy and work hard for the boys, and that's all I can do. And we're, we're missing two of our best running mids in the Hill Brothers, but good to see Ed Langdon step up once again. Yeah, he's having a fantastic year, Ed. Um, I always thought that Ed was a really good player. He's always a really good runner and has really good pre-season. So the way that he's sort of bringing his game together at the moment, um, it's really pleasing and deserves um, everything that he's getting at the moment. Sydney next week at the SCG, going to be a big test. Yeah, 100%. Um, obviously fly over there on Thursday, so I reckon we'll have a solid week on the track again. And that... Uh, need. <laughs> the con man at it again. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough week. Um, weekend against Sydney this Saturday. I'm a bit rattled, actually, after that. <laughs> uh, just finally Mother's Day on Sunday. Any plans? Got a bit on, actually. Um, my mum and grandma are going to come to my house. We're going to do a bit of gardening, actually. So that'd be nice. And then we've got a Mother's Day lunch at my auntie's house as well. So there's a bit going on. That was lovely, Connor. Enjoy it. Thank you. Cheers.